Yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Natural Manila. <laughs> you know the place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it at Evil T-Shirt Club on IG, bringing you another knockoff toy review. This one is a KDB Starburst or Starscream. As always, music brought to you from my homie, Anthony Accurate, who is the illest producer ever. Feet on feet are my AJ12 Game Royals. This was a 2019 pickup. Super comfortable. As always, at EvilTShirtClub.com for the rarest, illest villain t-shirts ever. So here we go. Again, today we have the KBB Starburst or Starscream. This is a knockoff. In my case, this is a second-hand knockoff because I am the second owner of this. You know, pretty expensive. I think I paid maybe uh, what will convert to about 70 USD on it. Uh, we had a few missing things like the collector's card transformation manual. We go with the Ghost Rider, but it's a seeker, so it's pretty easy to you know, identify how to transform this guy. We have the Coronation Crown. And this all, as you all know, this comes from the 1986 Transformer D1 movie in which they find, you know, Starscream finally got his, his ultimate goal in life, uh, which is to be the Decepticon leader after they got rid of who was Megatron at that point in time before he turned into Galvatron. And this particular model of Starscream includes all of his coronation items, uh, his shoulder pads, his cape, the crown. And we all know that Starscream was basically a treacherous air commander. Uh, he was one of the, he was the leader of the original Seekers. The Seekers, the original three were basically him, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. Then in season two, they came back with the Coneheads, uh, an additional three Coneheads. But he was still the leader of what became six eventually, before becoming the leader of the Decepticons with his cunningness after they you know, ousted Megatron in the movie. One of the things that uh, that you realize throughout the life cycle of Starscream is that he, he has an indestructible spark. So he's somewhat of a mutant for Transformers because even without a body, he still can carry on. There were several cartoons about this actually where he would possess other bodies. At one point it was Swoop, at one point it was Trypticon. You know, limitless examples of how he was able to still exist uh, without his own physical body, uh, where he eventually tricked Unicron into you know, providing his body back. And what's cool about the Seekers, the Kubian Bao or the Paratomi, they do a really good job of adding that support on the bottom because, you know, the, the upper part of their body, they're very top heavy with the wings and everything. You know, when you transform the feet, you see that they do provide a lot of support. So you can have these guys in a position where they can stand upright. I didn't notice this until later on, the air brake, and I just pointed that out because it's super cool. It's awesome. But yeah, you know, Starscream, going back to him, uh, indestructible spark. Uh, he also is a scientist. Um, he also created Bruticus after he was ousted from the Decepticons, once again, for all his treachery. Uh, so he went in and created Bruticus. Bruticus ended up battling Devastator. You know the rest, the rest from there. Starscream and Bruticus were ousted. They went on an asteroid and you know, concocted a plan basically to take over Cybertron. And they were successful with that at a certain point. So you just, you know, all that to say you cannot think Decepticon, G1 Decepticons without thinking of this dude right here. The arms were super easy to transform. The hands are pretty cool. It, you know, all the fingers articulate really well. And we 
we have the arm cannon. Those are always pretty cool. And all the Seekers had dual arm cannon. And really in the transformation here, the only part I kind of struggled with is here, you know, his chest. Like that, that piece, you really have to wiggle that out. You, know, you gotta work it down. Eventually, you know, it, one side, you, you get to one side, then you can uh, figure out the other. Could have been a little bit easier. But after you get those into position, everything else kind of falls into place. He's, you know, this just becomes his the top of his chest rest area and then we just take the nose cone and you know just stuff it in between here in the space that we created you know the chest is also something that's most prominent chest and the wings are really prominent in all of the seekers Again, you know, going back to his history, you know, Starscream did have a history with another scientist who was Jetfire, so I'm in the market for him. He's kind of expensive, kind of big as well, uh, so I will get that eventually. I just hate that he did not remain in Decepticon. Here we go, this is just a posterior view of what happens with that nose cone. Okay, here we go. This is the display mode without coordination. This is display mode with coordination item. As you can see, it looks really good. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Until next time, peace.